everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to teach you how to make this stylish twist uh, front knot dress and how i make this knot dress i will guide you step by step how to cut and how to uh, stitch on one of my uh, viewers request so let's get started i will start by making the pattern for this uh, uh, dress we need a scissor cello tape um, colored paper and um, uh, cross, cross and dot paper you can use any plain paper and I'm using my old pattern you can use your old dress instead as well so I'm, I'm going to make uh, another pattern I'm just simply you know, placing my old pattern on this new paper so we can use this because we have to make a pattern and I have to show you how to cut it so I'm tracing my with my old pattern and after tracing i will have a, a spare pattern so and now i'm going to uh, cut this pattern and after cutting i will um, use um, this pattern to cut back of the dress first so neckline how to cut dress and bodies i have mentioned in some of my videos i will add the link below again now first of all i'm going to cut back so uh, back you don't need to make uh, backs very deep and fabric i'm using is a viscous um, jersey fabric and it is a thin fabric and four way stretch so i now um, now cut piece of fabric and uh, my pattern is smaller and i need 40 inches total length so that's why i took fabric longer than my pattern now uh, just simply i'm cutting this um, uh, fabric according to my pattern so this is a back of the dress so now um, you can make your uh, back neckline deep as uh, as much you can and but i make 2.5 inches deep so now I'm um, uh, front for the front part. I'm using the same pattern, and I cut about half, um, about one centimeter deep front part. And now I'm go going to cut uh, the neckline. Neckline I'm cutting little oval, so you can cut any shape you want. Now we um, are going to start making a pattern from uh, from shoulder to the waist. Fifteen inches I took. now i mark complete um, waist uh, waist measurement now from the shoulder to uh, down nine inches because this is a measurement we're going to make some darts and now from the side four inches and on both sides now for four inches and the nine inches mark we uh, draw now we um, joining them and this dot I make one inches wide dot and now I'm joining them so um, after joining these dots now I'm going up five inches both side five inches up and then I will be uh, cutting diagonally matching with these points which we make on the nine inches keep watching at the end of the video and uh, uh, keep observing as I am doing now I make a cut and um, uh, make a space little bit of one inch space because um, um, there was a one inch uh, dart I cut and I'm adding cello tape now I'm cutting on another side this dart and um, then uh, um, another mark five inches up we did and then now matching that part as well it's just a way to make this um, uh, pattern so now we have uh, dart we have uh, move upward and now mark the center of your dress because i'm going to make a twist in the center on the side eight centimeter down eight centimeter up so um, uh, from the uh, now i mark eight centimeter below the waist eight centimeter above the waist and now i'm crossing and ma uh, make a two crosses around so they are eight centimeter on either sides now we have a four pieces 
one which is with a bodice and uh, uh, side to side pieces 8 8 centimeter uh, like a total 16 centimeter and third uh, fourth part is a skirt part so this uh, i'm now started cutting diagonally and this is our part four i mark it four and this one mark three now i'm marking three three uh, three inches down three marks of three three inches on both sides and uh, i will be matching the three inch from the uh, center keep marking using your long uh, ruler three inches on either side three three inches and uh, uh, keep matching them in the middle of the skirt and now i will start cutting and make sure do not cut complete part so just leave little bit attached to the skirt part so we can extend the fabric because we're going to make a twist so that's why we are extending this fabric So on another side as well, I'm cutting from the same center and go to the edge of the skirt and make sure do not cut completely. Now three um, sides, three parts on one side, three on another, like a seven edges we have. So we will take a side part and we will divide into seven uh, parts as well. So we will have seven notches, um, like a seven triangle on the big skirt part. And this side one, I am cutting like a seven pieces as well. Like I divided the small piece into seven. And now I'm uh, using this color paper so you can see what is going on. So uh, you will cl clearly differentiate that how I am making this pattern. So you can use any paper, any um, any color paper. So I have this one available. So now I am ex now extending these cut ends. Just uh, cut them about, uh, sorry, uh, extend them one, one inches away. Each, uh, the distance between each um, this uh, uh, diagonal pieces is one inches. And now I um, keep using my cello tape to fix this uh, part. So basically it will be a, your pattern ready and whenever you want to make a dress you can use the same pattern and make the dress with the center twist so um make sure that you matching these um, notches and seven on the top one two three four and then three on the other side and this small part has a seven um, sharp edges as well so they're matching they're facing each other so now after uh, uh, fixing this paper i will be start cutting now i started cutting this pattern and uh, you keep watching uh, carefully how i'm cutting from the base on the top so we have like our edge in between is like an L shape on both side and uh, just keep clearing the extra fab extra paper so you can see um, these uh, pieces are one inches away I'm just making sure my pattern is safe on both side now another part of the dress we will start making now from uh, the shoulder keep one inch away and come in the center one inch away from the shoulder and then come right in the center make a diagonal line and, uh, and then uh, we are uh, uh, coming from the uh, from the three inches near our uh, armhole 
um, the, the hole we made previously now we're going to extend and uh, fix it back now i'm starting cutting and now you can see the gap i'm fixing it back because otherwise your uh, it, it is a way to give a gap um, in these pieces and uh, we can make twist nice twist so i have uh, covered the gap back again like this now we have a five uh, five um, triangle pieces you can see and another part you know number three that i'm going to divide into five equal parts just to make sure how much fabric you took and divide them into five parts from the um, triangle from the pointy end now i'm starting cutting and make sure that you do not cut the paper through and then similarly just like uh, uh, i did previously the skirt part now i'm going to do same as a bodice part you can uh, now i am using the same uh, red paper and matching these um, uh, triangle pieces together because five and uh, these um, we can you can move them away as much you want so i'm keeping them two inches apart each diagonal and it has a two inches apart distance now i'm doing a cello tape again just like i did for the skirt part so in this way we will have a two pieces of the pattern ready so in these um, triangles they are two inches apart so keep watching as i am doing so you can do your own experiment it don't have it doesn't have to be exactly as i am doing you just take the idea and uh, do as um, you can do it and best way to do is just try it try it on extra uh, fabric any cheap fabric and when you feel comfortable then try it on the better fabric and that's what that's how i learned when i did first time so now my pattern is ready i'm just making sure extra paper i am cutting and this is neckline so our pattern is almost ready and i'm going to simply place this pattern on the fabric and cut the fabric and then i will show you how we can sew this one now we have a two pieces like this one is a bodice and one is skirt now simply place your pattern on the fabric spread your fabric and um, i am going to cut my fabric according to the pattern it is better just to pin it up or put something heavy so paper do not move so you or if you want to draw it is um, up to you you can draw first and then you can cut this is your choice but i am just directly cutting with the help of pattern pattern so just exactly we don't need to give uh, any extra uh, seam allowance because this fabric is quite stretchy however i left the seam allowance on the side of the fabric when i was cutting already so when we're making the pattern then we don't need to keep any extra um fab extra fabric so this is my bodice part is ready and this is how it looks like now i'm going to cut another part same way just to um, spread your fabric and um, just um, put your pattern on the top and start cutting or you can mark the pattern before this is your choice and i forgot to tell you that i used two meters of fabric and this was quite wide area fabric if you're using smaller area fabric it is better to use um 2.5 meters but two meters was more than enough for me now we will start from the skirt fold one side of the skirt and match it at the end just like i did so this edge will be going right at the end of the fabric and then i'm going to pin it up 
so it because this is a jersey fabric it, otherwise it will keep slipping and just leave one inches of the fabric unstitched rest of them just stitch it now i have stitched one part and uh, uh, i'm going to show you after stitching this is how it looks like and i left one inches gap if it's a smaller gap then one inches is still fine because um, otherwise uh, a knot will be seen so you can see there is a little gap i left my thumb can come out so i'm going to attach the body part with it so what we are going to do you remember the uh, body part um, this is a, a body part and the bottom of the body part we will be we will fold the bottom and then from the front the hole we left we will just squeeze it and pass it through the hole from the front side of dress just like i am squeezing it out carefully yes and pull the fabric outside just like i did now this fabric look like this the one part the base of the body uh, bodice comes on one side and uh, we have this part of the bodice extra now we will first of all stitch one side of the bodice with the skirt keep watching and then fold this um, uh, bodice and uh, now i have stitched one part so another part is we have another part when i pulled out there were the two pieces and similarly i'm going to pin it up and make sure while you are sewing sew really close to the um hole which i left because uh, this is a jersey fabric and make sure you use the needle a proper needle for the jersey fabric or if you don't have a needle then you can use a zigzag stitch and every time when you start sewing uh, use a needle otherwise uh, fabric will be flimsy going um, up and down now i have uh, stitched three parts and the last fourth one just make sure just like i'm doing you can pause this video if you are making with me you can watch it again and again i am trying my best so you can um, see clearly what is going on so now i have stitched the body and skirt part together and this is um, uh, almost ready uh, this fabric is thin uh, jersey fabric is not see through but it's still thin and i have a spare fabric so i decided to make the lining with the same fabric for the lining i simply placed my front uh, part of the dress that is ready and i'm now cutting the lining part so when the lining will be um, cut and um, i will face i will place the front face together and i will stitch from the neckline so we don't need to do uh, extra hemming because um, the lining will be attached with the neck so this is the front part lining i have cut and after cutting front part i will cut the back as well now i have stitched them and this is a back part back part of dress and i'm folding because i stitched from the neck side and this is how it looks like this is the back i and uh, you can see that is very nice and uh, don't need any hemming so now the front part as well and i'm going to fold it inside out and this is our front ready as well so the both uh, the both pieces now have a lining because when uh, uh, in this thin fabric if you have a lining so your dress looks good on your body now both pieces front and back has lining and i'm simply going to place a uh, right side of the dresses facing each other and, and stitch my uh, stitch the shoulders now place the back side and front side together so one of the lining fabric just fold it back as i did and uh, pin it up and stitch the shoulder 
so in this way when we will open our shoulder stitch will not be there is will be no seam seen so it's just like a invisible stitch and uh, it will give a good nice look to our dress so just i'm um, just like i pin it up and i'm going to take it under my overlocker and i'm stitch it now my dress is shoulders attached and this is how it looks like and both has a lining so when we will be stitching sides of the dress we will stitch the front side a front part separate and the back part separate because sleeves are not attached at the moment so we can stitch them separate It is hemming time now. I did hemming using my needle and thread. This is how my dress looks like now. So um, at the moment now I'm going to add sleeves. You can leave sleeveless as you like, but I'm going to add some sleeves. So uh, I will come back. My dress is ready and this is how it looks like. I have added sleeves. So you can leave it without sleeves, it's totally up to you. And I left slits at the end of the dress as well. So this is totally your preference. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you all in my next video. Bye.